let's take a look not necessarily at random stuff but let's take a look at one to switch a game that i really have not liked much but there was i think it was on neogaf or reddit or who the hell cares uh, from the japanese website for one to switch a collection of videos for 18 of the mini games and we're not going to look at all of them i've highlighted maybe about 10 i think that we can kind of look at and see what they are and, and judge this game for what it really could be if we can even call it a game so this is the sword fight one uh it's doing stuff so you, so you basically have two weirdos oh no no no! i have to be fair i have to be fair two people and you're sword fighting right and you can hold the button down as chilly in a minute you can hold the button down to guard and you're it's like you're play sword fighting. That's actually kind of interesting. I think that could work in a way. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. It's definitely a mini game, and it is a mini game collection, so it fits in with all of that. I'm fine with that. Okay, okay, and that's the whole video for their sword fighting. Let's move on to the next one, and we're kind of going to get into my theme going forward with all of this Joy-Con rotation. Uh, this game and the sword fighting game and a couple others that we'll get into I think could be really interesting in a larger environment like uh, so we'll get back to that but this is you pick it up and I guess you have to pick it up slowly and whatever and you're trying to see who can get furthest around the circle very smooth you can see he screws it up somehow I don't really know why um, because he pushed it and he didn't bend it right. You just got to keep it flat. Like, that's that's interesting. That's playing with the, the cool tech that's in the Switch controllers. The Joy-Cons or whatever the hell you want to call them. I, I can get down with that. This is a mini game that would fit perfectly in a Fallout game as how to crack a safe or any any heist thing. And there's actually a, a safe cracking thing. I think it's the next one. Um, but it, it's something you could see an application for in another in another game in a larger game in a zelda game where you got to solve a puzzle and it's like okay put this down and do this thing to figure your way through it and i i'm a big fan of mini games like that especially when you look at something like uh, bioshock i love the original bioshock's weird little pipe cleaner dream sequence whatever where you're when you're hacking i love stuff like that and stuff like this dial game and then the safe cracker here which this is my favorite of the guy like doing he's not even moving his hand it's just the dials moving this is cool too this is this is again this fits in perfectly with what bethesda does with fallout and how they do their lock picking this this is exactly that like this is just an application in a different way and you could even do things in 3d space with some of this there's some really cool ideas here that i feel like is almost limited by the idea of making it a 1v1 party game if that makes any sense like it remains to be seen if there's any sort of not narrative but campaign or like challenge mode or can you play this by yourself like and uh, granted that could be on me i'm not pursuing that i'm not trying to see if there is anything else like that because i'm just seeing these random things and kind of going with it right so this is another game and it's i'm, I'm still not sure how it works i know uh, some japanese not enough japanese to quite understand and not enough amount of care to figure out exactly what's going on but i think you could you could feel how many dice are in there and so you can kind of be like, oh, you have a lot, and you can like, bluff your opponent into thinking they have more dice in their cup than you do, and and kind of stuff like that. Like that's interesting. That's an interesting idea. But but again, all these things are like, oh, that's interesting, and that's at best. At best, these ideas are interesting. At best, they're things that would fit better in a larger whole with some sort of actual mechanic. At least to me let's move on from this dice thing uh she fakes him out and she wins spoilers then we get the ping pong which kind of has the same problem that the sword fighting one did because you couldn't see the swords and now you can't see the ball and it's just making these clacking noises as they go back and forth it's a little uh well it's very silly 
there's some mechanical depth in here with like you can do little lobs and you know whatever but you can't see anything and i understand that's the entire conceit of this is you know play by looking at your opponent right but i think you kind of go a little too far <laughs> with some of these and especially these were the good ones all right these were the the good ones i picked to kind of show off oh this is something cool let's see what else we got right what what these are good things that are here <coughs> i'm dying i was like to mention i'm sick w what else do we have oh we have copy dance which which reminds me of uh suicide and and how terrible this is i i just hate it i would never do this i would do this as a joke once or twice who is playing this also i question every bit of this this thing is just feeling where it is so all you literally have to do is go and point it in the same spot the other person did so you don't have to do this weird dance you don't have to do anything this is also possibly one of the more egregiously acted ones and it's not their fault it's just everyone's fault it's society's fault i mean it's we could go back in time it's it's like napoleon's fault it's everyone's fault, right? Like it, it's everyone's fault that this this copy dance thing even exists. Okay, and it only gets worse from here because there are several games. I included one, but there are several games like this one, Telephone, where you you don't do anything. You're just waiting. Okay, so you're you're waiting for it to happen. You set the thing down. The phone rings. It's about to ring, and you pick up the phone. That's it. Oh, that's it. Like, wait, were you waiting for something? Were you waiting for anything else? Were you waiting for a layer of complexity, of depth? No. Literally just touch the thing and put it and press a button on it faster than your opponent. Okay. Well, if one of your 28 mini games is that, I question everything because that's not the only one that was like that. I forget the other one, but there was another one. I didn't include the video because I thought it was silly to include so many of those. Here's another one, count balls, right? In this one, you uh, you count balls. And so you're feeling around. You both can have the same number of balls in the controller. Let's stay very classy. And and you kind of, you know, guess, like, oh, one, two, three, okay, it's four balls. That's nice. Again, this is another mini game that I think fits better in a larger hole. It's just like a, a sub thing you can do to get past an obstacle. Uh, similar to hacking in Bioshock, like I mentioned. And you guess it, and then you're wrong, crazy farmer man. Great, okay. Uh, but now here, things start really going downhill. And everyone's seen this by now, this cow milking thing. How, I don't... I understand the application. And the idea that you could be doing, like pulling something, and imagine a VR scenario where you're in a headset and looking around and you're like pulling on something or like pulling yourself up. Like it has all this motion and all these extra buttons to do something more complex like this. It has that ability. Instead, we get this or this or whatever, whatever side it's on. And this is bad. This is real dumb. I don't. What is this? I love their promotion stills at the end of all of them. That's my favorite part. I also love, they just put that up. It just, that's their image. That's their YouTube thumbnail. I fucking love it. It's just a giant ass cow. I love it. This, I don't remember what this one's called. It's in, I don't know that much Japanese. But it's basically sword catching. And again, you're just catching the sword. Like, look at it. You're just. How do you even know? It's just timing. And the other person, like, what? What's even happening? This is, these are, I, I question if this even works. I don't understand it. I clearly don't understand any of this game, but that's not even the worst part. So we can move on to the next one. Wizard. Oh, yes, it's joyous. Oh, it's real good. Yep. Get your friends together in your purple house and uh, and, and shoot wizard stuff at, at each other. 
again, this is another one that you have to, you can't see anything. And you're, I guess you're like, when you thrust, it does the counter. What's even happening? This is a, who is playing this? How, I couldn't, I couldn't be drunk enough to endure this after, after five minutes, right? I don't, I don't get it. But that's not the worst because we're not even at the end. We're not even at the end of all these. It gets worse, and it, we get to this one, which which is, uh, and I'll show you what I what I call it in a second. This one, now there's sandwiches. He's eating, he's eating sandwiches, but it's an eating contest. When you think of eating contests, I think of hot dogs. So I refer to this game as the hot dog cunnilingus game. Look at look at it, look at it. This is official promotional, uh, you know, material is how this is described. Oh, and it's something. Right, oh, it's very something. What do you do in this game? Oh, you just eat. Nom, 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 nom. Cool, I'm glad, we, I'm glad we spent thousands of dollars on this. I'm super glad about that. And that's the, that's the entire game. That's, that's a mini game. Okay. I don't, what, it, what is even happening? How is this a thing? Not, I haven't even brought up that this whole, this whole setup is $50. 28 mini games. A very like there were five here that I was like, oh, that's cool, that's interesting, and the rest of them just spiral out of control into disarray very quickly. So let's look at this runway, and let's start to think of it critically. What is even being tracked in this game? Game, mini game. What is even being tracked? So they're posing. And doing a little strut right and so it's tracking like your hip well not ne even necessarily your hip moving it's just your hand at your hip with the controller doing the motion I d and then you pose you're gonna it's gonna get into the middle here and they pose and you're judged based on that where do you know to pose how do you know to po what is the Her upset thing, though, is I think that needs to be a gif. I very much enjoy it. That's the best part about all this, about watching any of this. Because What is this? That's a thing. That's not the worst. This is the worst one that a lot of people have seen. This is the worst one. Why? I should just, I should turn the sound back on. Because what even, now you're watching this demon baby with this scariest face, it looks closer to the baby in PT than it does an actual child, which, by the way, was like an aborted fetus. Like, it wasn't even a real, like, it was a horrifying thing in PT. That's what this baby looks like. And then we have to put it down. She slowly walks away. I don't know why. It doesn't sense where you are. How could it? And then it starts crying again, and she rushes in. That's the game. What does that even mean? That's the game? No, 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 no. This is a $50 product that is beyond absurd. This should be, there should be no cost for it. They shouldn't even release this. They should hire someone to go back in time and blink it out of existence because I think this could actually be detrimental. No one likes this. Everyone makes fun of this. It's so ridiculous. Having this as a pack-in would make it so much better, and everyone has said that to death. But look at the YouTube likes to dislikes on this. Not saying that that's really indicative of anything, but they sure as shit ain't positive. And you want to know why? Because no one wants to play this. Even WarioWare has this nice package of you're doing minigames and they get faster and faster, and you don't even know what's going to happen next, and there's what, like a hundred something mini games in the first WarioWare? Maybe not that many, but way more than 28. What is, that, what is even happening? Ugh. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying here? I don't. But it's just. I guess the only way it could get worse would be if it didn't launch with Zelda and this was the launch title. Cause that'd be, whew, that's a real cute 
coffin that you're nailing shut right there with your stupid baby ass mini game. And there were other mini games in here. There were one where you ran and you were like shaking the thing in your hand. You're running and then it does a thing and you put your hand up. Well, that was weird. I shouldn't have probably put my arm up like that. Uh, okay. I, I just... Even with WarioWare, even with, with Nintendo Land, I can see some depth there. There's no depth here besides you're just getting drunk with a bunch of friends. And maybe because I just don't want to go outside and talk to anyone, I don't see the value there. But I'd rather, if I was going to get together with people and play games, I'd rather play a board game or Mario Kart or like any other game than any mini game collection. Even a WarioWare game together, like even that I don't necessarily want to play with other people. Like, I don't understand this. I guess that's at the end of the day, I don't understand this. And I don't understand why they're so like just so into it but they're they're really into it maybe there's some more depth like i said at the top of this adding some depth of like challenges or trials or, or something adding any kind of depth because if this is literally just 18 mini games let's play this again if this is just uh, 28 mini games all collected together with nothing else and maybe a leaderboard or something for some of them. Yeah, Outlook not so good. Okay, Outlook not so good in your demon baby. Get that thing checked out. Your baby should not look like that. Also, why'd you paint your entire house pink? You're a psycho. Although I will give them credit, they have really great production value. And I like seeing the same actors. <laughs> in different ones. I was like, now nah, they're milking people. Now she's got a baby. I do like that. It's it's dumb. It's so dumb though. We'll just have to wait and see what the other 10 are. I, I'm excited. I'm very excited to see what the other 10 mini games are because can it get worse? Can it get worse?